In 2009, the emergency evacuation of the Tari operated Icarus base resulted in about 80 Earth personnel becoming stranded on the ancient vessel Destiny, billions of light years from home. With limited power, failing life support, and no help from Earth, the disoriented passengers found themselves in a desperate fight for their lives. Their only hope of survival, much less returning home, rested in the planets Destiny would encounter on her pre-programmed journey. But this presented a problem. How do they know what's on the other side of the Stargate? Every time a ship reaches a new planet, does someone have to risk their lives and go through the Stargate to radio back? Or could the damaged sections of Destiny itself hold the solution to getting home? Sections just out of reach. Thankfully, the Ancients had a solution. The Kino. First discovered on the ship by Eli Wallace in Air Part 2, the Kino made its debut appearance just hours after Icarus personnel arrived on Destiny. The Kino itself is a floating orb, roughly the size of a softball, that relays audio, video, and environmental telemetry back to whoever's in possession of its remote. The Kino's industrial and steampunk stylings made it feel at home in the corridors of the Destiny, and it became one of the few safe devices passengers could use for both recreation and convenience. While the Kino is not intelligent, nor sentient, it quickly became a charming character in its own right, both practical and adorable, like Destiny's equivalent of a Roomba. The term Kino finds its roots in early Russian cinema, and while the word has recently taken on a variety of connotations, Eli Wallace is most likely referring to the Kino Pravda newsreels of the 1920s, voyeuristic video clips of everyday Russian life edited together in an attempt to find a deeper meaning or truth. In fact, Kino Pravda literally translates into English as film truth. As the show progressed, the Kino's various abilities would save the lives of those on board Destiny countless times. It was an invaluable off-world probe, automated sentry, and digital pet of Eli Wallace, who used it to extensively document life on the Destiny, much to the chagrin of literally everyone else. But that nuisance came in handy in the Season 1 episode Time, where our heroes discover a Kino from the future, one that's loaded with recordings that document their demise at the hands of contaminated water and parasitic aliens. Thankfully, our Lieutenant Scott was able to use the Kino to send a message back in time, through the malfunctioning Stargate, to warn Destiny from the next time loop about the contaminated water and parasites' life-saving anti-venom. Time is also worth noting because it's largely told from a first-person Kino footage, a stylistic departure from the show's status quo, and one of the only times Stargate did a found footage episode. In another Season 1 episode titled Water, Eli used over a dozen Kinos to create an improvised hovercraft that would function as a floating sled, enabling Colonel Young and Lieutenant Scott to transport massive amounts of ice, cut from the frozen tundras, back to the Stargate. The Kino's functionality and charm must have caught the eye of someone at MGM, because in the summer of 2009, before Stargate Universe even premiered, MGM announced they would be producing over 30 Kino webisodes that would be released in conjunction with Season 1 of Stargate Universe. These webisodes, much like Kino Pravd and Newsreels themselves, provided fascinating and often comical insights into daily life and the destiny, Candid vignettes that showcased character and story beats that might not fit in with the dark and gritty tone of Stargate Universe itself. The Kino would continue to have a valuable place on board Destiny throughout her two-season journey on the Sci-Fi Channel. It became an omniscient crew member and a go-to problem-solving device. It helped capture the emotion and scope of Destiny's mystical cosmic journey through the outer realms of the universe. But most importantly, it helped us empathize with the characters showing us their vulnerability and humanity through ongoing character journals. It made these people seem real and further immersed the audience in their epic tale of survival. The Kino ultimately found its legacy not through its novel design or inherent cuteness, but through its unique storytelling perspective, one that made the journey on board Destiny all the more rich, compelling, and resonant. <laughs>